And we're back with another Pico CTF challenge, this time Inspector, another web exploitation challenge. Description, Kishir Balan tipped us off that the following code may need inspection, and then we get a link. I wanted to know who Kishir Balan was, and so I Googled him, and when I looked, he's a security guy, bug hunter. Anyway, so a little bit of background there. So let's click the link, and I want you to remember the word Inspector, because that is our hint. So inspect me, and it has two tabs up here, and it says, I use these to make this site. And it says HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. So there are two ways we can inspect this. We could do inspect or view page source. I'll do view page source first. And here you can see the HTML unrendered, and you can see the first third of a flag here in a comment. This, this uh, marks a comment, and this marks the end of a comment. So let's take that, and let's bring that back. And let's talk a little bit about uh, HTML. HTML is the way you represent the structure of your page. So here's the other way we could have looked at it. I just went inspect. This is called uh, the web inspector dev tools. You'll hear people call them. So the HTML describes the overall structure of your page and your content. And this gives us an interactive way to deal with it. So if we wanted to remove something like how, we could just delete it. We could change text, for example, in here. I use these to make this site. This site is cool. We can change it too. Okay, so HTML describes the structure. And then CSS is cascading style sheets. And that we can find over here. And this describes the styling of the page. So for example, the header has a background color that's black. We could change this in the dev tools to whatever we want it to be. We could change the color of the text. Well, actually, that's not changing. But anyway, you saw the background. The background worked. So as we scroll through here, you need CSS to make pages pretty. Here's part two of the flag. So let's copy that, bring it over. And then the final part is JavaScript. And what JavaScript does is it provides interactivity. So we'll be able to find that right here. So it's a .js file. And this is code that can interact with your page. And let's... Bring that over, and I want to just show you a little JavaScript in the browser right now. So we can do things like x equals 1, and then we have this value of x, x times 100,000, whatever, sure. Um, we could do an alert. You can do all kinds of things, and so this brings interactivity to the browser. And that's a pretty nice introduction, if you've never done a web page before, to all the technologies that are involved. Let's submit our flag. And we solved it. Hopefully this was helpful to you. If it was, you can help me out by subscribing, liking, commenting, hitting the bell, all those good things. Thank you. Bye.